Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 14. So this tutorial we're going to take a look at new scenes, we'll take a look at a simple terrain and we'll also start constructing parts of our city. So the idea of what we've done so far is all been done inside one scene and obviously what that means is everything within this original scene that we've named open world at the moment, although in hindsight it's probably not the right name for it, has all been done collectively inside this single scene. So the next scene we're going to create is going to be the scene that contains our open world itself, so the city and uh, the hills and lakes and whatever else we create in there. So to do that, file, new scene. Simple as that. And now we have that new scene ready to go. And as I said, in hindsight, we probably should have named the other scene a bit better. So what we're going to do is head into our scenes folder, take that original open world scene, rename it. So press F2 and we'll call it um, just intro scene, I guess. And this scene that we've just created, let's file, save scene as, and in our scenes folder, and we'll call this one open world. So what do we do from here? Well, the idea of creating a city is not so much complicated, but it can be a bit strenuous because I am one of those believers that auto generating an area, a city or whatever, doesn't have the same love, care and attention as it would being handcrafted. So that's why I feel in many ways having a script create a city for you is the lazy man's way of doing it. You don't learn anything specifically about art, direction, style, doing it that way. However, if you create it manually, you can see everything for yourself. Now, there are different ways of creating parts of a city, but we're going to use some um, assets that have already been created for us. Before we get onto that, let's actually create an area that we can use. So, game object, down to 3D object, and now let's use terrain. And that will create what seems to be a great big white square in the middle of our scene. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with terrain in this tutorial because it's something that we will gradually work on because manipulating a terrain is a great way of manipulating our open world because what the terrain serves as is a floor. And that floor can be manipulated to be roads, it can be manipulated to be hills, pretty much anything really. Uh, the thing we're going to need to use the most is probably this first one here, which is raise and lower the terrain. And what I like about this is that it's as simple as click and it raises the terrain. So if we zoom out, we can see it's raised it a bit like a hill there. And you can do that if you zoom out, we can see basically just creating these great big mountains. But realistically, we don't want them right now. We're going to keep this fairly flat. So what we'll do is hold shift down and just drag all over again. So I'm just holding the left mouse button down there and that's just kind of flattening everything back out to its original level. So a couple of other things, we have the paint height, which is right there. Uh, one thing we probably should do at this point is let's have the height set as 10 and let's click flatten. And all that will do is it will raise the terrain itself above its minimum level. So it'll be 10 above its minimum level. What that means then is that we can actually dip the terrain into like a hole. So obviously that could be a lake or something. So I'm just going to undo that. Hold control, press Z. So I would recommend at this point changing the height to something between maybe 10 and 25. Uh, in fact, I might change it to 15 and click flatten to keep it as that. A couple of other things, we have smooth height, that's a way of smoothing a couple of things. Again, I'm kind of glossing over some of this because I want to get into the city building at this point. Uh, and paint tool, uh, a way of inserting trees, grass, and also settings. One thing I will say about the settings is let's change this now because depending on how big you want your open world to be, it's very dependent on what you have as your resolution right here. So I'm going to have the terrain width as something quite large because this is going to be to me a fairly big open world but obviously you have this as big and as open as you want so i'm going to set this ter uh, terrain to 2000 by 2000 so it's going to be fairly large to put that into perspective if we had our character here it would take quite a while for us to reach the other corner 
so you can probably gauge how big your open world would be. And as I said a million times in this tutorial already, we will get to a lot of these things in future tutorials, so please don't worry about them. Now, I did say earlier we were going to use some assets to build a city. Uh, one thing I will actually do before we get to that is I'm going to bring into the textures folder down here. I'm going to create a new folder and call this one city. And in there, I'm going to drag and drop a couple of textures, which you can get on the website. Head over there, downloads and assets. And they may only look like simple textures right now. However, these can be used quite cleverly. Yes, they look like shops and doors and whatever, but these three textures are free to use for you now. So let's head to the asset store. So hold control, press nine, and it'll take you there. I've already got it open here. It's just connecting now. And there are tons and tons and tons of different assets you can use. So I will explain here the reason why we're using assets is because it would re require you to learn a 3D modeling program to actually create uh, the city block buildings, different aspects of the city. And if you want to do that, please feel free. Go and learn Blender or something. That's the one I would uh, recommend free. If you have money, uh, go and learn 3D Studio Max or Maya or anything really. Uh, I'm going to shop on the old store right here. And as I said, we're doing this all free. So we don't have to pay a penny here. So we're only looking for free assets. But you have to remember, free assets are not always the best ones to use. But they give you a jolly good starting point. And there's the British coming out in me right there. So let's search for uh, city, I guess. So if we search city and then click on free only we should be able to see a couple of different assets that we could probably use. And some of you may have seen these assets before, especially if you've been looking around. And, you know, you could choose that one right there, the stylized city, modular. You've got tons of different things. But the one I'm going to use, because I have I used it when I was testing this series, is this NYC Block 6. Uh, obviously, that Block 6 indicates that there are other blocks as well. Uh, they are paid assets from this developer, or creator, I should say. Uh, so heads up here, I've had no input on this, nothing at all. I've chosen this because I like what this asset is and how it works and how you can use it. Obviously, they've given this one away for free. If you would like to pay for others, that's entirely up to you. I'm not going to for this series because, as I said, I'm creating everything for free in this Grand Theft Auto series. But it's always nice to actually give this creator credit for what they've created because it is good. So you would just click import or download, whatever. And then back in here, I actually have it right here as outpost and here. So we have resources and we can see if we go to the scenes, we have a scene set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this whole scene. So save. And now the way I did this when I originally built my uh, prototype of this was I went into this city block scene. And if we open it up, as long as Unity plays nice, uh, we can actually see that they have created a demonstration for us to use right there. Now, what I would recommend is not to just take this and use it for what it is. This is why I've given you those other textures to use. You could use them to actually create what is essentially a whole city. Just find different textures. So for convenience sake, I am going to take everything that's in this scene and bring it into our other scene. Um, but obviously I wouldn't recommend that. What I would say is take each individual part of this, like for example, this particular block here, hold control, press D to duplicate. And if I pull it out of where it is, you can see just how you could use it. You could also create its own prefab of this just by dragging and dropping that item down here into your asset window. And then you've got that asset that you can just bring into your scene. So that is a good way of actually creating the city landscape itself. I think from this point, you could use each individual part of whatever is here to create your own city. And I'm going to do that in this tutorial briefly to show you how we could do it. So by that, what I'm going to do, like I said earlier, I'm going to take everything in the builds Shops, street, and environment. I think the environment. Let me see what's in there. 
In fact, no, I'm not going to take the environment because that just has the light in there. So I'm going to take those, copy them, head back to our scene, which is open world. Don't save. And let's head to where our main camera is. Where's our terrain gone? There it is. And I'm going to paste them right there. I've just done it twice, my mistake. So let's take those again and bring it into place around about here. And bring it up to the top of our terrain. So just bring it up to about there. Oops, I'm having a bit of problems with my uh, mouse here. What I think I might do actually is turn the uh, lighting off. So if you have this problem where it's a little bit slow, it might help to go to Window, Rendering, Light Settings. And let's turn off right here, Mixed Lighting, Baked Global Illumination. We'll turn that off just for now. So as you can see here, we have this city kind of well, the city block, I should say, almost ready to go. So what I'll do is, this is where we'll now paint the terrain. What I think I'll do, because I know there is... Yep, I want to get rid of this plane that is the street. Uh, let me find it somewhere here. I know it's here somewhere. I know it's here. There we are, invis floor. So I'm just going to get rid of that object. So now let's actually make this start looking a little bit more like the city that we would expect to see. So I think it was actually the second tutorial we brought in uh, an asphalt texture. So let's apply this to our terrain. To do that, make sure we clicked on the terrain, click on the paint texture right there, click on edit textures and add texture. We just need to drag and drop the asphalt onto there and the normal map onto there and click add and we can see how that's applied to the terrain if it looks a little bit odd like it does here what i would do is go to edit texture and let's change the size to 30 by 30 you can see even more so i guess it just depends on how you want yours to look so what i could do is change it to let's try and think of a good way of doing this tab five by five and click apply and what I'll do is I will save that scene and I'm now going to head to our original scene which is now called intro scene and if you remember quite a while ago in this series we created our character which is contract killer right here so I'm going to take him ultra press c to copy him go back into our open world and onto the terrain, let's paste our player. Turn him back on. And let's bring him into position over here within our city. I've zoomed in a bit too much and it's frozen on me once again. Fantastic. So I'm going to bring him somewhere on the terrain. About there, I think, should do. Let's bring him down to the ground. And I think we should be able to press play and have a quick look at what this looks like now. So, oh, that's because we have the main camera, that's why. So I'm just going to delete the main camera out of this scene and then press play again. And hopefully we should be able to, there we go. So at the moment, everything has no um, colliders on them. So that's why we can run in and out of the... There we go. So you can see how this is now coming together as a city itself. So we have the ability to actually walk around, do things. So it's, he's gone a bit funny. I think that's because of the lighting, but we can always sort that lighting out. So what I would recommend at this point, I have just kind of cheated a little bit because I've used this city block as it is rather than extract certain points of reference around the city and use them. But as I said, what you could do is, well, let's see this uh, bus stop here. Let's not have that there. Let's create um, an actual asset for that. So I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to create a new folder and have it as 
street fern short for street furniture and what we'll do is this bus stop i'm going to drag and drop into here so there's our bus stop and i'm going to delete it from there i don't want a bus stop there let's take um let's take this trash can bring it here because i don't want that trash can there and let's kind of let's have a bus stop here instead of these bollards but what i'll do is i will drag that bollard here there we go and as i said i want the bus stop here so we brought it into the scene but because of the way it is don't worry about it it's just a case of moving it into position so as i said what i would recommend you do at this point is construct your city accordingly if you want to do what i've done just for testing purposes then that might be a good idea i think it just depends on what kind of city you want to build and how much experience you already have at building and i said if you want to build your own city then by all means you, you could give that a go there's nothing stopping you actually building your own city in a way that you would want to if you know how to use 3d modeling programs but as i said you could do this to your city you could create it this certainly will not be the last time we do anything towards our city because we're going to be building this up as we go along making it look better each and every time bringing in more assets more useful things that we could actually use but you can see here already we're going to use this as a way of controlling a road we have street lights here that we can use and remember when i said about the textures well let's take um i don't know what we could do is have a shop over here maybe and we could easily do that as a cube if we wanted to remember what i said though free assets are not always the best ones to use but they certainly give you a good chance of creating something useful so i'm gonna have this as 10 and 10 and 20 and i'm just going to attach uh, this city texture onto there and you can see that we kind of have a sushi bar almost ready to go there yes it looks a little bit crazy there but that is just how they work on a cube and i guess it's something that we could work on later on so next tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build these scenes to come together uh, i'd like to add a fade out to our original scene and yeah we're just going to make everything kind of slowly come together so when we start dealing with things like pedestrians and cars we'll be dealing with all this city but as i said i really don't think you should be taking this entire block like i have i would experiment with it build your own like i said i'm using this to kind of speed things along to make things a little better quicker for us in the long run uh, this will kind of make a city block as it were at some point um, but yeah for now you just kind of work with any assets you can and if you feel like going to the asset store and taking some other assets simple city there um, you, you've got tons of assets that you could use so yeah you build up your city now guys and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching